Uh, can we welcome up next uh, Clive Oseman, please? Hello. Right, uh, there are a couple of people here who will have heard this. I haven't written anything new for a couple of weeks. It's driving me mad. Uh, so, yeah, um, I do have to apologise before I do this poem. Um, there are a lot of things in life that I'm not very good at. And two of those things are impressions and accents. And I'm going to be doing both in this poem. So many apologies. It's called Open Mic in Aston. Picture the scene, a cold, wet Thursday night. There's an open mic at a grotty pub in Aston. And who should rock up but Her Majesty the Queen, dressed in ripped jeans, trainers stolen from George as Asda, and a T-shirt with the slogan, He's no son of mine. She's driving an Eddie Stobart truck, which she uses to ram cars out of her way to claim the best parking space. She covers her head with a Primark bag to protect herself from the rain. She walks into the back room where the action is and steals the mic from Simon Armitage, who pops in to test his new limerick and have a swift drink and maybe a spliff. Thankfully, the moment was recorded by an open micer. And have a listen. It will delight you. Blimey! I don't know what they put in my beer, but I'd swear the Queen just walked in here. Any road up, this, any road up next to the mic is Simon, this Simon, and this is Simon's first time here, but he says he's had an illustrious career. He's had severe writer's block, but now feels ready to rock, so please give it up for Simon Armitage. <coughs> for, thanks. There once were a boy born in York who grew up with a sword made of park. It stood up by its stem, so he panicked and then tried to puncture it with a fork. Get out of my way, Armitage! You're my fucking laureate, so do as you're told and sit down! And that was rubbish! Who ever heard of a pork store? Dick? Yo, 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 posse, now listen, motherfuckers, because this shit's real. I'm here to launch a charity appeal. I know a man who needs plastic surgery to change his ID as a matter of urgency. I would say he's sweating on your support, but apparently he can't do that no more. So if you can chip in with a few thousand pounds to help him escape the baying hinds, and give him certainty in the knowledge that he can pick up his girlfriend from her first day at college without ending up doing a stretch of porridge, then that would be sick, bro. I would ask Philip, but he's a dick, though. Oh, bollocks to this shit show! Fuck protocol! I live on paracetamol! Headache because of the pressure of being royal! I don't want to do a hairy and be disloyal, but before I leave this mortal coil, I want to do the normal things with all the fun and joy that brings. I want to work in a call centre and enter into a bit of benter. Do you know who I am, I would say? Now wouldn't that make some commoners day? I want to live in a council house. Decorate the West Wing and rent it out. In fact, fuck the collection. A coroner's life is my intention. And Andrew can work in a sweatshop to earn his money. Now, Alanis, dear, that is fucking irony. Thank you very much. Thank I, you. Hope your throat, I hope your throat's all right, Clive. <laughs> Uh, no, <laughs> that was great. Uh, for our court visitors, obviously, Clive, having insulted our, our glorious queen, will now be taken out and shot. That, that's how it works here. But great poem, man. <laughs> no, that was great. <laughs> Thanks, Clive, for sharing that. 